Hey guys, it's Naya and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. First of all, excuse my nails. They not my normal person I go to for my fillings or my full sets and like as y'all can see and my nails never break off. But it's okay because there's more important problems in this world. So today I'm about to be telling y'all a story time, but a little twist on that. I'm about to be doing my makeup because I'm like, I've been like feeling like itching to do my makeup again ever since I did like my Valentine's Day look. I just can't believe I did that good. And this is a story time about this boy that saw my phone back in like 2016. If you're a real OG, you know I did this story time before, but I went back to watch it and it's first of all it's rushed because if you were real OG on YouTube you know that back in the day like the go on here was to like keep your videos like real short but now watch time is a factor in monetization so people are gonna make obviously longer than 10 minute videos yeah, but anyways enough of all that this all happened 2016 so I was a freshman which was crazy so I'm like Dan I just got here it's only my third day out here why is y'all messing with me um, so one day I remember it was a Friday because I was low-key scared that I wasn't gonna get it back for the weekend lunchtime and me and my friends at the time oh by the way I'm trying to beat my face and I can't take off my scarf y'all because this wig is literally sitting on top of my head so this scarf won't be coming off instead of going to the lunchroom we had other options at my school like I look crazy and like we can go in like the counselor's office or outside if it's hot enough you know just like random places or like to a certain classroom if that teacher lets you so today we decided to go to the counselor's office so we you know chilling in the counselor's office or whatnot mind you it's like six of us in the counselor's office with us was this random boy Bring my baby blender. So he was just sitting in his own little corner or whatever. And so my phone needs to go on the charger. Because if you know me, I've always just had phone battery problems. Like my phone is always dying. People think it's me, but like honestly, it's really just the phones that I get. I'm convinced. There was only two outlets in there. And one of the outlets were occupied. So I had to go to the one the boy was sitting next to. So, you know, I just sit my phone over there. I don't even say anything to him. I just sit my phone right next to him because we're all in there so we can all see him, right? Oh, and by the way, after like I had set my charger down, out of the six of us, one of my friends realized that she knew him because they were in the same grade. Now, the friend I'm referring to was in 11th grade. And he was also in 11th grade. So just keep that in mind. And then one of the other girls, I was with she goes oh can somebody come with me to the lunchroom to get something or whatever so I'm like you know I'm always that person I'm just like yeah sure like I'm down to like walk around or whatever so I go I don't think twice about it at all because I'm like there's no reason to think twice you know I'm just leaving my phone in there with a whole bunch of other people that I'm friends with and plus it's the counselor's office like nobody's just gonna come still at the counselor's office I be looking so crazy during this whole process, bro. Me and that girl, we go to lunchroom. We're there for however long, and then we come back. So tell me why when we came back, oh boy was in there. But again, I didn't think twice about it because it's just like, oh, he must have just left, went about his business. So I go to grab my phone, and y'all know how like if you chilling in the bed or something like that, and your phone like it's on the charger but it like slides on the side of the bed so that's what it looked like been broke so many times. in the little cushion part so i'm like oh my phone just slid on the side let me just grab it real quick so i pull the cord the cord is loose <laughs> baby there was no phone on the cord so i was just like hold on wait a second so first I just look around to see if anybody looking at me because y'all know like when y'all friends pull little pranks on you One of them always gonna be looking at you when they do it. So I'm looking nobody looking at me So I'm like, I know y'all took my phone bro. Like stop playing. What the fuck? Stop playing What the fuck? Stop playing. They like what you talking about? We don't got your phone and at this point lunch is finna be over So I'm looking like bro. I'm not about to leave I'm not about to go to my next class without my phone, you know? I'm like, bro, y'all give me my phone. Like, lunch is about to end, la, la, la. So I'm just sitting there, like, with a straight face. So first we got on Find My iPhone. Now, y'all know Find My iPhone Find My iPhone only pinpoints it to, like, the location, really. Like, we knew we were at school. So, like, that's all my phone was saying. But, you know, there was no real way of tracking it for real. Hold on, y'all. Let me 
quit playing and blend this all out. Y'all, I think this whole time because this is BB cream is too light for my face. But I do have this other foundation. This foundation right here. Because I look so washed. I don't know if it's just this light. Mm, I don't know. Just try on error right now at this point. Does that bring color? That low key bring a little bit of color. Y'all probably like, this is not a makeup tutorial. I'm trying to learn for myself, baby. Maybe I should mix the two. If you good at makeup, please DM me. But anyways, back to the story. Oh yeah, so we were doing the little find my iPhone thing. Nothing was popping up because it was just, the only thing popping up was the fact that it was at my school. So instead, y'all, uh, just so y'all know, I'm about to be trying like this color, like these three colors, I don't know. And so my friend that knew the boy, she's like, okay, well I know him, like I can see if he took it. And I'm like, why would he take it? Cause like, he knew that they knew each other. So it's just kind of like, why would you take my phone like you're gonna end up getting caught like you didn't think that one through big fella because after lunch we had fourth hour and that's the class they had together she's like okay i'm about to um ask him if he has it and my friend kaya i'll say her name my friend kaya me and her like we were together like she didn't go to class with me period and we were texting the other girl i'm not gonna say her name because i don't really miss her anymore let's call her b we were texting b and we were just like going back and forth like seeing what he said to her and basically he told b that he didn't have my phone and he didn't know where it went so so we like okay so then kai was like okay bro let's just go to the office and report it stolen a lot so i'm like okay so we go to the office and luckily we got the nice secretary because if you went to my high school you already know who i'm talking about that one lady she was just like rude for no reason hopefully she's living a happy life um oh this has eyeshadow on it yikes after we told her that we think we might know who did it she was like huh okay so she was like oh do you know his name so we tell b like hurry up send us his name she sends us his name and then like he has such like a generic name so it's just like no offense like if you have a generic name no offense but like when she searched up the name a bunch of people popped up we like ah oh what are we gonna do but luckily the system had pictures attached she was like okay come here like so we walked around the little desk and we like looked at the pictures and we had to like point out i really was feeling like i was in a whole police episode or something because i had to like point out the picture so after we pointed out the boy she was like oh well he's in so-and-so's class right now like um i'll call him down a lot she dismissed my friend kaya she was like okay like you can go back to class whatever she wasn't like being mean or dang that looks sweet that looks so cute so, so she writes her a pass and kaya leaves so now i'm just in the office because like I already told her, I'm like, I'm not leaving to have my phone. Before she calls him down, the secretary explains the situation to the dean of students. She tells him or whatnot. He goes to get the kid out of his class, brings him down to the office. I don't think the boy realized that I was sitting right there in the office, but I was sitting right there. He walks right past with his head down, and then they go back to the dean of students' office. So I'm just sitting there all anxious. I'm like, bro, I really hope he has my phone. Like, you know, honestly, he could have, like, tossed it or something like that. And y'all this eye color is purple in person not as like blue i don't know if it looks blue on camera but to me it looks blue right now but anyways period hey y'all so hold on actually i'm about to finish i'm about to do this y'all see where this is going and then i'm gonna come back and tell y'all what happened next because I don't want to be like stuck in the middle of doing this eye and I'm like done with the story so yeah <laughs> okay I'm back y'all here's the eyes pop some lashes on this last one stay on this one having the struggle staying on but it's okay it's whatever I'm not going anywhere he's he's somewhere getting searched and I'm just all I still couldn't get over how crazy it was so then, all of a sudden, the dean of students comes out of his office and he's like, what color is your phone? But at the time, I had iPhone 5C, so they came in different colors. I had the blue one, so I'm like blue and it has a black outer box case on it. He comes back out. I don't even know why I'm highlighting, honestly, there's no sun outside. He comes back out and he has my phone in his hands, but it's taken out of the case. So he's like, is this it? And I'm like, oh, it is it. So yes, the little grown, basically grown man in 11th grade, he stole my phone and he tried to lie about it, but he didn't get away with it. Remember they had told me that he got suspended. I think it was like two or three days 
because why would you do that like you just bored at this point and that's the end of my story let me put on this other lip gloss okay you guys that was it for this story time i hope y'all enjoyed this one i have so many high school story times that get better than this so like if y'all want that like this video give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below if my comments aren't disabled because for some reason youtube keeps disabling like random comments yeah so that's it um i know i probably look like ashy on camera but i promise y'all in person my makeup doesn't look this ashy wait let me unplug it and plug it back up oh y'all can't even see me now Okay, but why is it so cute? I know the light is under my face, but period. Ooh, that's kind of psychedelic, though. Oh, that's kind of sweet, though. Enough rambling. That's all for this video. I hope y'all enjoy it. Subscribe, help me hit 100K, because that's my goal. That's my goal in 2020. Yeah, follow all my social media. Shop my clothing brand link down below. My merch is coming out March 1st. When y'all watching this, that's literally in, like, like five days. So, go follow Shopping Daye on Instagram. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.